Let's talk about professional networking. According to the data, it's how nearly 80% of job positions are filled. Social science research also tells us that networking can improve your job performance and your evaluations, boost your pay, and increase your chances at promotion. The question is, if networking can do all of this for you, why does it feel so gross? If you're a human being who enjoys not totally unbearable interactions with other human beings, then when I said networking, you probably made some version of this face. <coughs> and you're not alone. Everyone else hates it too, that's just science. According to a study called the Contaminating Effects of Building Instrumental Ties, we hate networking because it makes us feel dirty. Why is that? That's because of something researchers call moral purity. Most of us need to perceive ourselves as morally pure. And for most of us, that demands something like honesty or authenticity in the way that we interact with other people. But when we're networking, we know kind of in our subconscious minds that our motivations are self-serving. We're hoping to use those relationships to get ahead in our careers. And no one likes feeling like a user. The thought of exploiting people for personal gain, it's morally compromising. So we come away from those networking interactions feeling dirty and we don't want to network anymore. Unfortunately, if you're a graduate trying to get a job or you're looking to break into a new field or move up the ladder, you've got to figure out how to get past the ick factor and network anyway which is gonna require you to think about networking differently. Here's how to do it. First, know that networking doesn't have to be an exercise in insincerity. You don't have to be one of these sociopaths out here glad-handing everyone who you think might be remotely useful to you at some point in the future. Instead, just be intentional about the people you choose to network with. Identify folks who you admire or who you're genuinely interested in or who you want to learn from or exchange ideas with. <laughs> Be curious and open to getting to know other people just for the sake of getting to know them. You don't know where it might take you. Second, think of networking in terms of reciprocity. So the researchers noticed this really interesting thing in their study, which is that powerful people don't feel dirty about using relationships for personal gain. The cynical explanation for that could be that powerful people are just already more comfortable objectifying others, and it doesn't feel morally compromising to exploit objects. <laughs> But a charitable explanation says that powerful people don't feel like users when they're networking because they know they have a lot to offer in return. This is where reciprocity comes in for you. When you're networking, just ask yourself, what can I do to make sure this person I am networking with gets something positive from our interaction? That could be as simple as having good questions, bringing an outside perspective, or sending a nice thank you note. And the thing you need to remember is that you probably have a lot more to offer networking relationships than you think you do. Because the truth is that getting to know a curious and sincere and promising person like you, it's a reward in itself. The final thing you've got to do is just be willing to stick it to the man. Don't leave all the spoils of networking to the rich and the powerful. You deserve the benefits just as much as anyone else. Remind yourself that the work you put into networking and building your career now will eventually put you in a position of power and influence in the future where you'll be able to help others get a leg up too. And that's gonna feel really good. Okay, so we've solved all your problems. From now on, networking is going to feel totally natural and even morally righteous. But like, how do you do it? We've got a lot of tips about networking in person and online on the Best Colleges website, but I just wanna clue you into a great networking tactic, especially if you're new or you've just graduated called informational interviews. An informational interview is where you request a short, casual interview with somebody in order to find out more about their career path, their organization, the role that they're in, or the industry that they're in. Don't treat it like a chance to just ask a stranger for a job. That's gross. Instead, just lean into making connections with people, gathering info, and figuring out what you're interested in. Most folks really enjoy talking about themselves, so if you come with engaging questions, you won't have to do much else except for listen and take notes, okay? And if you feel awkward asking someone for a quick coffee or a Zoom chat, especially if they seem busy or powerful or important, just remember that this is a really low stakes networking tactic. The worst that can happen is that they'll say no, but in the best case scenario, you might make a friend who can mentor you through your job search process and who may remember you the next time their company is hiring. If you want more tips about professional networking or informational interviews, check out the articles I've included in the link. And if your sense of moral purity is feeling all shiny and new, give us a thumbs up and hit subscribe.